The meantime, police are on a manhunt for the person who shot and killed a security guard here at the Alpha Project homeless shelter. But with no witness descriptions, it is proving to be very difficult tonight. Tennis reporter Rena Nakano joins us live out there. We understand there's already a talk about changing security out there, Rena. Yeah, that's right. I spoke to the president today. He said he is absolutely devastated and he's feeling for the family of the victim. But normally here, the security guards are unarmed, but now they're considering getting armed security guards. Bangs and commotion woke up Matthew Deveni from a dead sleep. It was gunfire. He's a resident at the Alpha Project Bridge Shelter on 16th and Newton. He says he feels protected by the giant tent, the kind staff, and the security guards. But Saturday night at 7.30, he found out that one of the guards was shot multiple times in the chest. I was sitting on my bunk praying that he made it through. But he didn't. He says now all 128 residents and staff are in mourning, wondering how could someone hurt a person trying to better the lives of people in need. The guy that uh, passed away was a very good guy. He, like, looked out for all the residents here. 10 News spoke to Alpha Project President and CEO Bob McElroy over the phone. He said the victim was one of six or seven Alpha Project security guards on duty last night. The victim was on his way back to the shelter after taking a lunch break when he was gunned down on the sidewalk. McElroy said the victim worked with him on and off for a few years, but just started back up in November as a full-time guard at the bridge shelter. Since the tragedy, McElroy said they're now in talks with the city to make a change in their security policy, possibly hiring a private security firm with armed guards instead of their own. McElroy, the staff and residents all devastated from this sudden loss. The, the streets, they don't make friends, they make family. And when one goes, it's like a heart. Your heart goes out to everybody that is involved. Now, staff here at the Alpha Shelter were wanting to have a vigil here tonight, but the president told me because the new safety protocols have not yet been instilled here, he's going to wait for a couple of days. Reporting live here at the East Village, I'm Rena Nakano, 10 News. Thoughts will be with them. Rena, thank you.